Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Delusional's Arcade. So in this episode, most of my games are working good. However, Mad Planets is just having some audio issues where I'm getting some crackling and stuff. I'm suspecting it's just a bad pot. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead, open it up, clean it out, um, and if we need to, swap it out. I have a replacement that I can put in there. But we're gonna try cleaning it, and in the meantime, we're also gonna clean the joystick might as well since we're under there. And maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get to the to replacing this with the proper Wicko uh, one. This one's the Tempest one in there. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into the episode. Okay, so if you saw in a past video, actually I'll link it down below, but this is my Mad Planets that I acquired. Uh, it's a really nice specimen. It has a little bit of patina here and there, which uh, you know I'll address in future videos. But for now, uh, the audio is the main thing that's kind of bothering me. So if I were to start a game now, right now there is no sound and it's because the pot's all messed up. So I'll show you right now if I go ahead and move it around. That's this one right here. See how it crackles a little bit? See right now that's off. That's set to the lowest setting. You see how it jumps? So what I'm gonna do is try removing the pot right now. I'll go underneath and uh, We'll kind of put it on the bench and see what's going on there. All right, so I set it up here. You can kind of see, I guess, if you look right there, you'll see inside. Um, it's actually supported by some two bolts right here. So what I'm gonna do is just get a ratchet. I'm gonna kind of take it out and then disconnect everything. But let me first turn off the game just to make sure everything is good to go. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so I shut off the game and there's a screw here and a screw there. But before I do that, Here's a connector right here. It's an A10-J4. So let me go ahead and just take that out. It's, it's pretty on there, pretty good. Just trying to get the good angle here without knocking the camera over. There we go. All right, so that's disconnected. Now I'm just gonna take out the two bolts there. They're actually just two screws and it's kind of easier if I use one of these here. Let me just double check that it's Yep, first try. All right. There's one, and then the other one is here. It's actually connected, looks like the ground. Uh, let me get in there. So this is it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the bench. We're gonna try throwing some deoxy into here and uh, see what's going on. But uh, I wonder if I can maybe clean that up too. It's pretty filthy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and throw this on the bench. And if we need to, we'll replace this pot right here, which is on the back. So let's go. Okay, so we're here at the bench. Um, I have everything set. And uh, I'm just gonna use some Glass Plus. I know it's not simple green. That's what everybody uses, right? <laughs> but um, I just can't find it. I think it's all the way upstairs and I don't feel like grabbing it right now. So this should do. I mean, I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm just gonna clean it just so it's decent so I won't get all messed up. Same thing with here. Um, and I'm not gonna really uh, use a wire brush on it or anything because I'm worried that this will come off. I could tape it and do it, you know, but uh, that's at a later time because there's a, probably a video I'll do in the future where I wanna like kind of restore it a little bit, just make it cosmetically presentable. And this here is not really seen, it's inside. So I think I'm okay with that. Okay, we're back. So I kind of grabbed uh, adjustable wrench here and it's just nice and small so I can get in there. But I'm just trying to just take this off here without, without really killing anything else. <laughs> there we go, it should be pretty easy. Just loosened it. That on the side. There's two. And then we'll take that out. Okay. So I'm going to clean it a little bit more here just to get all the grime off. That's how everything used to look at one day. Um, but yeah, so now I can get in here. You can see there's a couple holes here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some fader cleaner in it. So I wanted to show you guys uh, the difference of all the stuff that I'm going to use here. So right here, this is the oxit, right? 
So I have a little pack here and this Deoxy right here, it's the D100L. This is a, not the one you want to use on it. Uh, you can see that's the main one that everybody uses. Uh, so normal deoxid is what you don't want to use. What you want to do is, uh, I have, this is amazing. Like it's, it's a little pricey. I would say it is like probably 25 to 30 bucks. Um, but it's, it lasts for years. I've had this for years, but this is really made for guitars and stuff. So, uh, the thing that it has in common with this is actually there's a pot inside the volume control for the, you know, like near the pickups and stuff for a guitar. So this is really, um, they call it fader cleaner. So. It's for any, any type of device that wipes back and forth with a variable resistor. In this case, we can use it on this. So uh, what I'll do is, let me actually get this other cloth here. I have a microfiber cloth. I'm gonna put this to the side. So I'm just gonna put it over here so it doesn't get a little messy. And all you do is you spray it in there and wipe it back and forth. So we're gonna try that first. We'll pop it on the machine and see if it makes a difference. And if it does, then we, uh, that's it, we're done. But if it doesn't, it's gonna, um, let's see, let me just, I will swap it out. I actually have a spare that I can put in there. So you can see I got it in there pretty good. I'm gonna wipe it back and forth. And that should, that should do it. What I might do is I'll put a little bit more in here. So I'm just getting it in those holes. My guess is it was probably made, you know, to have something like this done and maintain so you can get in there. I'm just wiping off the excess and I'm wiping it back and forth. So all the way this way, all the way that way. Um, it, it evaporates pretty quick and it has those holes in there. So what I was gonna do is blow some air in there. So I may do that off, off camera. So yeah, if you have an air duster, which I don't, they kind of look like this with the straw, shove it in there and uh, Kind of make sure it's all dry but again it doesn't have to be dry it's non-conductive uh, all right so i really want to save this so i do have a replacement let me go ahead and get the replacement i'll be right back all right so here's the replacement uh this is uh, i believe i got this from uh jameco so i actually gave one of these to charlie at overtime arcade because he also has one of these for his Qbert, and chances are, um, I actually swapped them in there uh, just to test it out, and it, it, his is working, but it still is a little crackly like this one, but he might be able to do what I just did with the deoxid. But if not, um, here's a brand new one. So uh, it actually doesn't come with this knob on it. I bought this knob separately, um, but it's nice and smooth, and it's uh, the same value on it. I believe it's uh, 100 ohm. All right, so for now, I think this is good. I'm gonna go ahead and um, just let it dry out for a little bit. Uh, but if you wanna speed up the process, like I said, just hit it with, with an air duster. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it out like this. I'm just gonna plug it in and I'm gonna see if it makes any difference. I believe if you turn it all the way left, it's gonna be low. And if you turn it to the right, it raises the volume. So I'm gonna turn it all the way to the left here. And my problem is like, I could turn it up and it fixes the issue. However, um, you know, I'm in a normal house. I'm not in an arcade, so <laughs> I don't want this thing blasting. It's pretty loud, especially in a track mode. So I like to turn it low, but the low is all crackly, but the middle was fine. So hopefully, you know, you could see me still working it back and forth to try to get it to be clean and uh, hopefully it'll work. But if it doesn't, we'll just, this one's nice and smooth and new and we'll just uh, solder it exactly like you show on there. Uh, I just wanted the long knob. This knob looks terrible, but uh, it's part of the original charm of the game. So if I don't have to switch it out, I won't. All right, let's go and pop that in and we'll see if it works. Okay, so we're back at the cabinet and uh, I'm just gonna hook it up just so it's kind of loose here um, because I'm not ready to commit that it's corrected yet. We might have to swap out that pot. So it's nice and tight in there. I'm just gonna lay this like that. And then to the left is lowest. And then I'm gonna go ahead and power it on. Okay, so we got the title screen now and now should do some music here for the track mode. Let's see what it does. So I was wrong. <laughs> 
left is loud. <laughs> I think we fixed it. Right now, I turned it all the way down, which is what I want. I want it to be completely off. And then when I do a tiny bit up, it's very, very low. And then I can adjust it. Nice. I think we're going to live with this. Nice. All right, so success. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it all back together, um, kind of go to the top, and then we'll kind of look at it make sure the sound works, and then if we have some extra time, I want to actually open up the control panel to get in there and clean the leaves out. All right, let's see how it sounds. So far, it's perfect. It used to crackle a lot more. I think we fixed it, guys. Now, the only issue I see here, um, you know, on something else that's dirty, right, on this thing, is, uh, you know, I can't, sometimes it doesn't move right. It's just a little stiff, so I wanted to clean the controls just to have it functioning perfect, because I don't play it as much as I should because the controls aren't 100% yet. Yeah, it's having a little issues going right. All right, so we know the sound works great. This is actually a great volume to leave it at uh, for the house, so I'm gonna leave it here. But uh, awesome, I'm really happy about that. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll, uh, I'll kind of set up the camera again. We'll open this up and we'll see um, if I can you know, get this to be cleaned and work a little better than it is now. All right, so what I'm gonna do before I put that all back together, I'm just gonna open this up. Now this one's kind of a pain. It has these butterfly nuts on the end of them here. Same thing with reactor. They just take a longer time to open up. A few moments later. All right, so now let me lift this up. And we can see what's under here. And right off the bat, I'm actually gonna try to stick. No, it's not gonna let me. Oh, maybe it will. There we go. I was trying to stick the whole joystick in there so it won't fall. Uh, you can see here, this is actually, I'm going to take this off on here real fast. But this is the, this is not the proper spinner. This is, it even says on here, spinner. <laughs> so I guess uh, Alan, the guy who sold it to me, must have put that there. But this is for a Tempest. This is completely different. And I'm not really sure how it mounts, honestly. Um, but I do have the original Wicko, and I'm not even sure if this connector has the same pinout or not. I really have to research that. Or just try it and see what happens. But, uh, but yeah, so this here is what I wanted to look at. Um, everything looks pretty clean. But it just might be dirty, honestly. Yeah, I could see there's a lot of dust in there. If you look right in there, there's a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, put something in there and figure out what to do. Um, might throw some deoxid actually on there, just normal deoxid, and then see where I'm at. So I do want to use the normal one. I don't, don't want to use a fader cleaner this time. And I'm going to use the one, here's a normal deoxid, and you can see it right here. I'm going to use the nail polish one. I call it the nail polish because it basically looks like nail polish, has the brush and everything, and it's just easier to apply. So, you know, I'm just gingerly applying stuff in between here and then I'll just clean it out with the rag as I go and I'm gonna go ahead and put this under here I think it'll be fine I don't think it's gonna drip I just don't want it dripping inside on anything but I want to get those tips right there some deoxin deoxin works better over time so it'll probably work oh actually I gotta put something underneath Honestly, this, this nail polish isn't dripping, so I think I should be okay as I'm looking at it. If you have like a spray or something, you definitely want to put something underneath, but I have this nice way of applying it here. I'll do this other one too. It's hard to see. There we go. Yeah, 
and the Leafs do look a little far apart on that one. Might not be able to see this, but I'm basically just uh, putting this on one side, kind of stuffing it in there, and then just going back and forth. So I'm, it's the way I can kind of get the rag in there, clean it out. All right, next one is this one. Now this one seems a little far apart. Actually, you know what? No, it's not. It's just the front part. Yeah, this one's fine. All right. That looks good. I think we're fine now. I'm just gonna double check the other ones. Put this one in there. And hopefully that'll be okay. So I'm gonna start a game. And I'm gonna see if I press it. That's down. This one is gonna be up, I believe. Let's see. I'm trying to get you guys to see it as well. Let me let me just bring it over. And I'm gonna try zooming out a little bit. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'll turn this off as well. I don't think we need that. Yeah. All right, let me start a game here. All right, so this one, that's left. This one is down. This one is, oops, what is this one? That's up, and this is right. So right seems to be working great now. So left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And then there's down. And I believe the other one is up, which is right here. Let's see. Nope, up is right here. There we go. All right, so it seems to be working okay. Um, I probably need to open this up because there's probably a grommet that needs to be replaced on that. Um, I mean, it's, it's really hard. Even my daughter, who's seven, she's like, oh man, this is really hard to move. But I'm pretty sure that's what I remember as a kid, that it was really hard, but you know. Um, so let me put this back. I'm going to test it really fast and then we'll kind of worry about this because I do have the Wicko, which I can swap in there. So let's see. All right, so I quickly put it on. I didn't bolt it down, so I got to be a little careful because it can lift up. And uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, left, up, down, left, right. Oh, it's way better. I can just tell right away. All right, so it might have been... That's good. So all we did so far was uh, deoxid. This should be like a deoxid commercial. <laughs> and so far, so good here. Oh, wow. There's a few that got away. Let me try getting them. One more. Yeah, it's working great. It's really hard to pull off diagonals and stuff. Or it could be, I'm trying to remember if this is an eight-way or a four-way. Maybe that's what it was. No, this is diagonal for sure. It's really just hard to pull them off. I might just need to just be in that angle. I'm trying not to pull too hard. Yeah, I think it's fine. I'm trying not to pull too hard because then the, this thing is loose. All right, let me go ahead. I'm going to pull the other one of uh, these right out. You can see right here, this is a spinner. This has the whir on it, and this is also the wrong uh, Tempest spinner. I have the proper one, so let me go grab that and I'll be right back and we'll kind of compare to see and I'll kind of do some research on the pinout as well. Okay, so I have a little bit of bad news. This is probably going to be another series <laughs> because I'm looking at, so this is the Wicko spinner um, and it basically has, I'm missing a nut. I'm not even sure, actually the screw has to be super long here. And this is barely long enough. So basically this will go in that side, right? And then the control panel will be in between, which will raise a little bit. Um, and then this barely, like when I put this in, it barely screws, screws on here, see? So I don't think this is a proper uh, length of bolt that I need. I actually need a longer one. So I have to really research that and find out. Um, and I, so I don't have the part basically to put it in. The second thing is the connector is different. So when I kind of looked at this one, this is the one from Tempest, you can see here. 
If I were to zoom in a little bit. Let's see here. Yeah, if I were to zoom in, right? You can see that the connector is way different. This one's more flat and it's made for the uh, Tempest one. Uh, whereas this one is the typical ones you see inside, you know, the Gottlieb machine. So got to figure that out. Um, and then the other thing too, is that over here, I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me see if I can light it up here. But if I go over here, you can see that, uh, that it's spliced. Can you see that all the way down there? So it's basically spliced. Those are the original colors and the original wires on there, uh, which I could probably match up. And then, um, so whoever did the restoration on this and put this in there, basically just cut the wires, kind of, uh, they did a good job putting it together with shrink tubing and all that stuff, but it is the wrong connector and the wrong spinner. So when I put this one in, I'm gonna have to probably uh, make another end. So I gotta find out where I can get the, uh, I guess the, female version of this so it'll meet together and then I can put it on plus I have to get the proper bolt size so don't really know what size bolt this is if you guys know put it in the comments but I'm probably gonna work on it next time so in the meantime I'm gonna put this thing back together we'll have a quick gameplay once it's all together I'll put everything back in and we can kind of test it out and test the sound and see if it works good okay we are back and it looks like it's controlling really nice from what we just saw i'm going to try it right now to make sure i hooked up everything on the audio and i adjusted the level so it is perfect like i'm so glad i didn't replace it and i have the original on there so it's a perfect volume i think i'm going to leave it I'm trying to think if i should leave it lit or not let me see because when i turn it off it tends to get a little yeah the ship gets all blown out you see that so it might it might be better just doing that all right, we'll go with that for now, and I'm just going to see how it sounds and feels, and we'll play a game here. So far, so good. So far I got perfect, perfect rounds here. And it's really controlling nicely, I have to say. It's a little bit of an effort to get it going because that grom is just so strong. It's fun though. I feel like I'm super precise now. Might be a little too low, <laughs> but trust me, it's perfect when I have just one game on at night. I really don't want it to be super loud. But I'm really glad I'm able to adjust it. I was not able to do that before. Getting a little hairy here. Ah. I got four ships left. Did pretty well there. Nice. Oh yeah, it's way better. I could just tell I was not able to move like this before. I missed that one, but it's all right. I'm trying to get a perfect game here. Yes. Whoa. And I just realized the high score says 28,000. I'm pretty sure I got higher than that. So I'm wondering if it's not saving something it should. I'm trying to maneuver through all of them. Ah, very hard game. And it, I mean, it feels okay with the spinner. It's not terrible, but I'd rather have the original. If the game's all original, why not?
trying to get them before they grow. It did not happen. Still a decent game, for sure. Like you're, you're dodging, but at the same time, <laughs> you're trying to get those little ones so they don't grow into these massive uh, problems here. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have died there. All right, so 59,000. Let me put my name up. I'm really curious to see. Oh, yeah, now it's working great. I mean, it's still a little tough with diagonal. I might have to adjust the leaps a little bit or figure out that grommet. But yeah, I definitely scored higher than that. So it's not saving the high scores. Usually it does, I think. I could test that now, actually. Let me uh, turn it off and on to see. And then we'll kind of wrap this up here. Some mad planets. It's very possible, honestly. I think I know what happened. I think I, because it tells you to reset the scores when you first turn it on. And I think I might've hit it by mistake. Yeah, it says press fire for start of new day, clear ultra scores. So it's possible that I did that, that it was depressed and I didn't realize it. But yeah, see, it saved the high score. So that's probably what happened. Cool. So uh, there it is. Nice and fixed. So thank you everyone for watching. Uh, this is a nice short video. You know, I'm going to try to do more of these that way because there's a couple things that need to be done around the uh, arcade here. So Mad Planets right now is working, it's functional, I'm going to start playing it a little more. But you'll see over here, Crystal Castle's just fixed itself, of course, but the red was missing for a little bit, and uh, there could be a cold solder joint. This 4600 in here needs to be rebuilt, but a lot of the times it'll start without red, and then you smack the side and it'll turn red and it's fine. Um, then what else do I have here? The Miz Pack, occasionally the monitor will get a little wonky, sometimes it'll play blind. Again, you smack the side, it comes back. This is a G07 that's in there, but it has a different chassis. I think it's a way out chassis. Um, but I do have a new old stock replacement, or I can just kind of, it's probably just a cold solder joint somewhere or a loose connector. Uh, but that's it. So those are the two I'm going for. And then of course, Centipede, occasionally the monitor on that one wigs out a little bit, and that is a 4600. So I've been avoiding 4600s, <laughs> not my favorite monitors, uh, but we'll, we will get those done at one point. But I think what I'm gonna do next, honestly, is probably, Zookeeper. Um, I have the parts to rebuild this. So I have the grommet. This one's a little floppy here um, and it's not as good. And the one I rebuilt on my buddy Troy's house, uh, his had like an issue where there was a piece hanging in there. When I rebuilt it, I was like, man, this is amazing. It's gonna be awesome. So what I'll do is I have a spare panel. I have a spare overlay from Joe Sable's arcade. Um, and then I also have a spare joystick. So I'm gonna rebuild everything, make a whole new panel with the wiring and everything. Um, I believe the wiring is from Golden Age Parts. Um, so I can go ahead and make a spare and then we'll swap it in and see if we can tell the difference between this one and the other one. That'll be a fun episode there. So yeah, so uh, stay tuned for that. I'll probably do that. I also have a Qbert control panel that I'm rebuilding as well. Uh, so that should be cool with the overlay. So I'm going to do a lot smaller stuff like this, but uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. So, okay guys, uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, Here's my handle here, it's at Dell's Arcade. And also, of course, I am on Instagram where I post a lot of pictures. Uh, we'll probably already, already have seen this that I posted that I'm working on it, you know, with the uh, Mad Planet. So I'm at Dell's Arcade on there as well. And of course, if you like what you see, if you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe because you will, will be worth it. It's a lot of fun stuff here and I have a ton of stuff. If you check my playlist, I have a ton of stuff on there of uh, restorations. We have the uh, gapless restoration, which I am going to finish. Um, I have the reactor, which will be coming. That one I uh, just have to put together over the winter, so I'm saving it for that. And then, uh, you know, Mad Planets pickup you saw, and then the Crystal Castles pickup, and all these other ones that you see here. And I also have a candy one that I'm working on, on a multi that I did for the SIG. You can see there it's running Alien Syndrome. So I have a video where I put that all together. So yeah, so you'll enjoy coming here 
you subscribe. So hit the like button as well. And I thank you for that. And I guess we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.